So, how's it going guys? Shane here, back with another video video. And today I'm gonna try something new. Um, I'm gonna start a new series where I'm gonna be trying out some uh, remote duels so that I can also sh show um, like that, like I wanted to do like replays at first, but I feel like remote duel is the best way to do it. Um, and yeah, I just want to hear uh, on the comments your feedback. If you enjoy this series and want to, to keep going, just let me know down in the comments. And yeah, so for this remote duel, we have a special guest. Uh, which is uh, Mr. Uh, Rogue TCGG. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and introduce yourself. What's going on, guys? It's Rogue TCG. Big fan of Shady. Um, love the content. Love the Unchained stuff. And we're gonna be doing a remote duel over here. I'm bringing my pet deck here. I got Phantom Knight, of course. And I'm excited to duel. Yeah, me as well. Special because it's my first time trying remote duels. So. I just hope everything goes well. And Absolutely. Yeah. If, it, if it doesn't, makes good content. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Okay, so let's just get into it. Or do you want to say anything else before? I don't have anything else, but I would like to say this. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to smash that like button. You know, the algorithm only hurts it more every day, so smashing the like button helps us out a lot. And also, go check uh, Rogue TCG's channel, he does a lot of good stuff, you should definitely take a look at it. So <laughs> yeah, uh, let's just get into it, so how you want to cut? Uh, we can just cut about half, it's fine. About half? Okay, seems about nice half. for me. About and how would you like to cut from me? I don't know. The same. About half. About half? Alrighty. Yeah. Would you like high or low roll? Uh, I feel like high roll. High roll? Alright. Yeah. Roll the and six. Roll the Eleven. Eleven? It's gonna be your yeah. choice? Uh, I think I'm gonna go first. Absolutely. Sounds great. Good okay. luck to you. So, good luck to you too. I'm gonna go drop base, then by place. Mm -hmm. Anything? Nope, you're all good on that. Okay. So main phase. Mm hmm. I'm gonna start with a dark contract if the gate. That's I'm all good. It resolves. To activate to F. You're all good. It resolves. Okay. I'm gonna get myself Wreckium. Absolutely. And I'm gonna scale Wreckium. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna activate Wreckium's effect to pop gate and summon itself. That works. Oh, right now I'm gonna exceed some. Mm -hmm. Get myself. Machinex. Ah, Machinex, absolutely. And I'm gonna normal summon Rekia. We're in Rekia, normal's all good. Um, I'm gonna try to activate Machinex, target Rekia, uh, pop and shuffle the contract, and gain a thousand life points. That works, yep. So I'm gonna shuffle this up, pop Rekia, and I get some life points. Nine thousand. Okay. I'm gonna use Rakia's effect to summon from the deck. Yep, yeah, Rakia float is all good. And I'm gonna get Sharvara. Absolutely. I'm gonna proceed with a link summon mm -hmm. into Yama. 
And I'm gonna be going Chainlink on Yama, Chainlink to Shargora. Uh, absolutely. And I'm gonna go um, Chainlink 3. I'm gonna reveal Fantastical Dragon Phantasme to summon. Uh, Phantasme is okay. And then response on chain four is I'm gonna go effect veiler target Yama. Okay. That works. Alright, so chain will resolve. Yama will be negated. Phantasme will summon and just making sure I got this correct. I'm yeah, gonna draw two and put yeah. draw two and shuffle one back. All good. And draw two. And choose which one I want to put back. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking here real quick. Um, more than likely, I'd want to put uh, this one back. So that one shuffles into the deck. Yep. All right. You are all uh, good yeah, from there. Yeah, uh, have our uh, results as well. Correct. Um... I think I'm going to get Chamber from the deck. Absolutely. And I'm going to set another card and pass turn to you. Absolutely. And you have one card in hand, and that's unknown? I have two. Nothing you have two cards in known. hand. Nothing yeah. known, two cards in hand. Gotcha. Understood. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I did uh, go into... Uh, no, actually, I didn't go to Iron Shuffle. Uh, but I did shuffle, so how would you like to split? Uh, yeah. Half works. Um, half works. Yeah, and you also have to do the same for me, yeah. Well, half as well? Yep, that works perfectly. Yep. Okay. I'm going to move to draw phase, and I'm going to draw if that's uh, alright. Yep. Draw phase, okay. Um, gonna go standby phase. Standby, okay. And then I'll go main. Main, okay. I'm gonna start off the main phase in the uh in this column here, I'm gonna activate branded regained. Okay. That works. All good. Okay. Uh next in this far right column, I'm gonna attempt to go orchestrated return, and for cost, I'm going to send Gearsu the Orchest Mechanite from hand to graveyard to draw two cards. It works. Results? All right. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, anything on resolution? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Bissial Lubellion in hand effect to discard it to add a Bistial. Uh, yep. Results? Great. From my deck to my hand, I'll be grabbing a Bistial Magnumut. Do you have anything on resolution? Nope. Alrighty. I will be activating the quick effect of Magnumut in hand. I'm going to target... Um, what attributes do you have in your grave? You have fire and I water? Have fire, dark, and water. Uh, which dark do you have? I have oh, uh, Machinex Machinex. and Requiem. Machinex and Requiem. Both darks. Um... I am going to banish your Machinax. Okay. Uh, and then Magnumut on field effect on summon. Yep, that works. Okay. I am going to attempt to normal summon. I'm going to normal summon Blazing Cartesia the Virtuous. Cartesia is fine. I'm going to attempt to activate Cartesia's effect to fusion summon. You have. Uh, I have two cards in hand. Two cards in hand. Two, two cards and both unknown. And in the graveyard, which targets you have? I only have Gearsu and Orchestrated Return as my Orcus cards, as well as Abyss to Lubellion in the graveyard. Uh, Gearsu is the foolish, right? Gearsu is the foolish when he's summoned. Yeah, okay. He has no so... graveyard effect. In response to Cartesia, I'm gonna activate Infirm, target Cartesia. Absolutely, and that's in the middle column, correct? Yep, middle column. 
Alrighty, that resolves. Okay, um, we are going to, then we are going to attempt to, in far left column, we're going to attempt to go Foolish Burial. Foolish, uh, Foolish go through. Foolish is all good? Yeah. Alrighty. Off of Foolish Burial, we will be sending from Deck to Grave. Um, sorry, just finding it real quick. The one, the only, Orcist Harp Horror. That was a good end. <laughs> a lot of it was the Phantasmate putting in work. Uh, do you have anything on resolution of Foolish? No. Yeah. Foolish I'm going to go Orcist Harp Horror. I'm going to banish itself for cost. Uh, effects resolves. Alrighty, Harpor is gonna special summon from my deck an Orcus monster other than itself. I can only play one Harpor who does, so not many other targets, but we're gonna summon Gearsu out. And we're gonna attempt to go Gearsu's on summon effect to dump a world legacy and or an Orcus card. Uh let's Alrighty, Gearsu is gonna be sending an Orcus Nightmare from my deck to the grave. I am dark locked at this point because I activated the effect of Orcus Harpoor. Um, I am thinking here. Apologize. Um, I'm going to attempt to to uh, link summon. I'm going to go Magna Mutt plus Gearsu. Okay, I'm Magna Mutt to go Gearsu. to go into Galatea. Um, yeah, it needs to be in the other zone. Oh, it's in the other one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have Yamato. Gotcha. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I see how Galatea. it's flipped. Okay. Gotcha. So we'll go Galatea summon. Is summon alright? Yep. Summon is okay. Um, We are going to go Nightmare Effect. We're going to target our Phantasme to, and, uh, to increase its attack, and we're going to attempt to send a Dark Machine from deck to grave. Uh, it increases which one's attack? It's going to or... increase Phantasme. It's going to targeting Phantasme, so it's going to increase its attack by the level of whatever I send. If I okay, attempt okay. 100. Yeah. Uh, it resolves. Alrighty. We are going to send a World Legacy World Wand, which is a level 8, so Phantasme is going to go up to 3200 attack. That is a big one. <laughs> He's a big boy. Um... I'm going to attempt to go Galatea effect, and I'm going to target my Nightmare to shuffle it back in deck and potentially set an Orcus spell or trap. Uh, yep, that works. Okay, we're going to put that Nightmare right back into deck. And we are going to set an Orchestrated Babel on our side of the field. And Babel. that's all right. We would, we would like to attempt to activate that Babel. Yeah, Babel activation is good. Okay, Babel is online. We are going to attempt to go World Legacy World 1, and we're going to banish it for cost, and we're going to target our Harpoor in Banishment to Special Summon itself. Um, yep. It we're going to special out Harpoor. Now, I would like to... I'm going to now Xyz Summon. I'm going to link on top... Sorry, Xyz on top of Galatea. I'm going to make Dingirsu. And on Summon, I'm going to go Dingirsu Effect to send a card from your field to the graveyard. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to think here. Absolutely. I'm going to just Chamber. Uh, absolutely. And that targets one engraved and special summons it, correct? Um, it doesn't target. It's just special summons from the grave. Oh, abs oh absolutely. Then special summon away. Okay. So, I'll think I'll summon Rakia. Okay, and then on resolution of Dingirsu, I'm going to send that Rakia to your graveyard. Yep. Uh, next, I am going to go Dingirsu and Harp Horror. I am going to link summon into SP Little Knight, and I'm going to attempt to activate the effect on summon targeting your Yama. Yep, it all works. Um... And unfortunately, there is not too much else to do since I've activated the SP Little Knight's effect. Um, so I am going to pass. I'm going to pass it over to you. 
Okay. One card in hand, unknown. Oh, uh, in an end phase, I'll get my hand. Hand. And oh, I can name a second yeah. one off Magna Mutt. Yeah, yeah so yeah. the Magna Mutt okay. is going to add from my deck to my hand. Oh, yep, there it is. Secondary Phantasmic. Oh, it's our Phantasmic. Oh, that's yep. insane. It's a dragon. I forget. I don't want to play. Forget it's a dragon. Yeah, oh Van Magnum, it's crazy. It's anything. I I don't want to play the other bestials. I want to play Phantasme. That's what I want to play. That is insane. So we'll um, add that Phantasme from deck to hand. So Phantasme so and you... random, and you have SP plus Cartesia. And what do you have on graveyard? In uh, graveyard, Orcus? I have. Uh, in graveyard, orcist wise, I have Dingirsu, I have Galatea, I have Harpor, and I have Girsu. Only which of, uh, only one of which, I can activate as Harpor in order to special summon one from deck. In graveyard, I also have Magnema and Lubalion. So if you summon a monster or special summon a monster, I can bring back a Yeah. Okay. Um, and Phantasmid uh, doesn't keep the attackers, right? So it's back to Correct. normal. Yep. It's back to twenty-four. Okay. So, draw face, draw for the turn. Absolutely. And uh, stand by. Do you have anything? I have nothing in standby. You're all good. Okay. Main face? Absolutely. Okay. This is going to be a hard one. I need to pick it up for a second. Absolutely, please take your time. So I'm gonna normal summon Rekia. Um, I have something in response to that. Yep. On on summon, I'm gonna attempt to go Cartesia effect to fuse because it is a quick effect. So I'm not during the main phase. Yep, Cartesia is fine. Okay, I'm gonna go Cartesia plus Phantasme in hand, and I am going to fuse into Fragogonal. The Dusk Dragon, and I'm going to activate its on summon effect to send a level six or higher light or dark monster from my extra deck or main deck to the graveyard. Okay, okay. So you have that, and you have whenever you want the hard horror. Correct, as of right now. I think it's the same, but I'm going to ash this. Ash, can I go get all that is okay. That's all good. Okay. Something else? Anything? Nope. You're all good on okay. that. Um, SP, you have to remind me how much a deck? SP is a 1600. Link to. Oh, you, you already need Link to. Right. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go to the battle phase. Absolutely. And I'm gonna try and crash into SP. And Rakea is a 1500, correct? Yep. Um, Rakea effect to crash is fine. Or sorry, Rakea crash. Well, not effect. Fine. I'm gonna attack into SP. Yeah, SP. Yes. It's all okay. good. So I lose 100 life points, and I'm gonna activate uh, Rakea. Um. Question. This is a ruling question. That doesn't happen in the damage step, correct? Um, no. Uh, destruction by battle absence. Um, if a monster is destroyed by battle, their destruction effect is in the damage step. Okay. That's all good. Okay, yeah, that, so yeah. that, that, that is good. Summon. And. So that so that is or isn't in the damage step. I apologize. Uh, yeah, it's in the damage step. Okay. All good. Just wanted to double check. Sorry. And I'm gonna summon a Rua. Absolutely. 
and I'm gonna crush her as well. Um, on declaration, I'm going to go Harpoor effect. I'm gonna banish itself for cost from my grave. Uh, yep. So Harpoor is going to special out a Gearsu, and then on summon, is gonna send another one. Um, that's okay. And then Gearsu is gonna send an Orcus Nightmare to grave it. And you are free to continue. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, this is hard. Like this. Mm. Yeah, I probably just loot here. We can go game two. Absolutely. So we're all good. Going to game two. I'm gonna go first. How do you want to cut? Is all good by me? Um, so, half and off? Absolutely, I can go half as well. Okay. Alright. Good luck to you in the second game. And good luck to you too. Okay. Draw phase, anything? I have nothing in draw phase. In standby phase, anything? Nope. Okay, so main phase. I'm gonna go normal summon Rakia. Okay, normal is all good. I'm gonna set a card. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna attempt to use Rakia to pop the set. That's all good. I'm gonna pop a prison. Prison effect summed from the deck. Uh, I will attempt to Skullmeister that. Ooh, Skullmeister, okay. It goes through. Alrighty. Now I need to think here. Absolutely, please take your time. Four cards in the hand. Correct. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go Talent for Draw. Draw two. Absolutely. Draw two is all good. Draw one. Draw two. Oof, I need a rough one. I'm gonna set two, and it's your turn. Absolutely. I will draw. Anything in standby? Or any, draw in anything standby in draw phase? All fine. All fine. Okay. It in draw phase, then, I'm going to go Branded in High Spirits. Branded in High Spirits, it goes through. Alrighty, so I'm going to, for my extra deck, I'm going to get a Machine Monster Sprint. And for my hand, I'll get another Machine Monster being Orcus Nightmare. So I'm going to send those two to the grave, and I'm going to add a Cartesia from my deck to my hand in draw phase. Cartesia. And anything on that? Nope. All good. Okay. Going to go into standby phase and then attempt to go to main. Main phase is okay. Going to attempt to... Oh, it's mirrored this way. Okay. I'm going to go normal summon Blazing Cartesia. Anything? Blazing Cartesia is fine. I'm going to attempt to activate the effect of uh, Fusion Summon. And I'm going to Imperm the Cartesian. Imperm resolves. Um, Alright. Uh, next, I'm going to attempt to banish Orcus Nightmare for cost to send a targeting Cartesia to send a machine mon Dark Machine from my deck to the grave. Um, yep, go through. Off of that, I'm going to be sending an Orcist Harp Horror from Deck to Grave once I find him. Anything on res? You sent what? I sent Orcist Harp Horror. This is the one that Harp special summons okay. from Deck. Yeah, yeah. Harp Horror is fine. Okay, I'm going to banish Harp Horror, and I attempt to activate its effect to special one from Deck. Um, yep. Yeah. Works. Going to special out Gearsu, the Orcist Mech Knight, and I'm going to attempt to activate its effect to send a World Legacy or uh, an Orcist from Deck to Grave. 
So you have three cards in hand, right? I have three cards in hand, correct. Yeah, it goes through. All right. I'm going to send a world one from deck to grave. Okay. I am then going to attempt to activate the effect of that world one. I'm going to banish it for cost. I'm going to target the banished harp for special summon it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, harp four has come out. Anything on summon? Uh, no, summon's fine. And your Rakea is in the middle column, correct? Rakea is in the middle column, yep. I'm gonna go Girsu and Harp Horror. And I'm going to make a Galatea over here, pointing to your um, Rakea. Anything on summon? Um, so, can you read uh, Galatea to me? Is it battle protection that it gives when it points to something? Correct. Uh, when it's pointing to something, it'll get battle protection. And then okay. Galatea is the one that can send a spell trap by shuffling a banished orca, uh, sorry, machine monster from my banishment to the deck. Okay, yeah. Uh, is um, Galatea once per turn? Galatea like is a hard ones per turn. Okay. Yep, Galatea is a hard ones per turn to attempt to activate the effect. I'm going to attempt to activate Galatea. I'm going to target Nightmare to put it back in deck. And I'm going to inform the Galatea. Okay, second and perm is all good. Okay. That throws a big wrench in my plans. <laughs> <laughs> that is unfortunate. That's fine though. Um we will make a Dingirsu and we will go Dingirsu effect to send a card from field to uh, grave. Um, yep. So and we'll send your Rakea. Perfect. All fine. Then, we'll attempt to move to combat. Um, yep. So that's how we'll... much damage. This is 26, 15, 41 total. So, 41 total. Correct, you're at 39. 39 on the red. In main phase 2, main phase two I'm okay. going to set hard... And just thinking really quick here. Go like that. That doesn't really accomplish much. Yeah, I'm just gonna be passing here. Okay, so draw face. Absolutely. Trying to drop for turn. Stand by. Main face. Anything? Yep. Nope, you're all good. Okay, so in main face, I'm gonna start with prosperity. I'm going to damage one, uh, two, three, four. Um, yeah, it's going to be for six, but I'm still thinking this is my fifth. And. I'll manage this. So, Prosperity for 6. Any response? Nope, that goes through. Okay, so here it goes. S summon limit, Prosperity, another Prosperity, Gate, Arua, Manage. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna have my end here, Arua. Absolutely. Rest into the bottom. Okay. So, um, let me think. Uh, so, Ding Yirsu has destruction protection, right? It's for the whole board. If something would be destroyed, I can attach material instead. It's like Al Mirage. Okay. Not Al Mirage, yeah, yeah. Phalanx. So oh, I'm gonna set a card, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna attempt to Arua, uh, pop the card. That's all good, you can do that. So Arua's gonna special summon, and I'm gonna activate Chamber to summon from the deck. Absolutely. Okay, so... I'm thinking here. 
I'll summon Sham. Mm -hmm. okay, summon Sham is fine. Summon is all good. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to use Sham targeting a rule. And could you just reread to me what that does again? Um, yeah, it uh, basically I can target a card that I control, destroy it, then after destroying it, I can destroy a spell trap on the field. Destroying a spell trap on the field. So that's after destruction. That's all good, yes. That's all good? Okay, so I'm gonna pop your Rua and pop your Seth card. Mm, so. Pops, does it pop the Aruha for cost? Uh, no, it's uh, on resolution. On res? Okay, then I'll protect with my Dengirsu. I'll attach okay. the Galatea. Okay, so that protects your card only, right? Correct, yes. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, Aruha effect, summon from the deck. I will call by the grave target Aruha. Um, I'm gonna go spell the call by. Ah, uh, ooh. Yeah, that's all good. You get your Aruha. Yeah, so Aruha summon from the deck. I... I'm gonna get Travara. Anything on summon? Travara summon is all good. I'm thinking here. You're all good? You got two cards in hand, right? I have two cards at hand, correct. Okay, okay. So... I'm gonna... Try to use... Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, I... I'm gonna try to go into battle phase. Is battle phase okay? Uh, at end of main, I'll attempt to activate Cartesia effect diffuse. Uh, yup, Cartesia is okay. Uh, with Cartesia, I'll go Cartesia and Dengirsu. Um, how large are those guys? Uh, they're both 2,000. Both 2k. Okay. I will summon Grand Guggenol in attack position, and okay. on summon I'll attempt to activate the effect to send a level 6 or higher light or dark from deck to grave. Um, you get the, the foolish, yeah. Alright. So from my main deck... I will be sending an Orcist Nightmare. And you are all good to continue your main phase. Okay, so still in my main phase, I'm gonna proceed into a link to for um yeah, you don't have anything. Yeah, Yama. And I'm gonna Abo? chain link one Yama, chain link two Sharvara. Um okay. Before that would how would you like to split? Oh, yeah. Half again. Half again? All right. Yep. And then I'll go Chain Link 3, Phantasme. Okay. Phantasme works. Phantasme will summon. I'll draw one, two, and then I'll put one back. Um, I'll put this card back and I'll shuffle. And everything that you have resolves. Okay. So, Starvara gets me the escape, and Yum um, need to think here, so... Hmm, I did not normal summon. Yum. I already popped the Aurora. Yeah, I'm gonna just get uh, the Rakia from the. Do I get from the dead? No, I'm gonna get the Rakia from the grave. I still have one here. Yep. I'll get the Rakia. Absolutely. It's all good. Okay. And I'm gonna normal summon the Rakia. Anything? Mm -hmm. Nope. Rakia okay, is all good. I'm gonna use a Rakia, target the set. All good. Yep. And I'm gonna use escape to summon from the deck. Absolutely. Um, I think I'll summon here... Thrama. Absolutely. I'm gonna 
uh, activate Taramba's target if okay. Mm hmm. Okay, so any response? Nope. Target okay. escape is all good. I'm gonna set escape and pop Rakia, and I'm gonna activate Rakia to summon from the deck. Rakia is all good. Okay. So, um, with Rakia, I think. Um, one second. So, mm -hmm. um, you can protect targeting, right? With the, right. Um, the Phantasma, and you just need to discard a card and negate and destroy the card that targeted, I believe. Okay. Negate the activation, and if I do, destroy it. Okay, so if you negate it, it destroys, and I can activate destruction effect, right? Correct, yes. Yeah. So I'll get disaster from the deck. Um, on summon. Yep. Uh, you summon a monster using a monster's activated effect, so I'm going to activate the on-field effect of Grand Gugan all the Dusk Dragon to banish itself and special summon a Despia monster from my extra deck. Uh, yep. That works. Okay, so banish. And from the extra, we are going to summon Despian Lulu Walilith. Okay, so when a card leaves the extra deck, he can negate something, right? Negate and it permanently will... It, I think it's a permanegate. Let me double check. Yeah. Okay, no, okay. sorry. It, the negate is until end of turn, but it buffs my team by 500 permanently. Okay, so... I'm gonna attempt to use... Um, disaster target the Lulu Olive. So, disaster target Lulu. Yeah, to link something. Mm -hmm. Pop it, you get to summon. No, you get to add one back. Um, uh, yeah, no, I'll... this one the summons from the grave when it's. Oh, that one summons one back. Okay. Yeah. Still, I'd still rather prefer you to use your resources to make your rage. So I will phantasme in response. I will be pitching another Cartesia for my hand. Okay. So destroys, and I'm gonna use disaster effect. To summon, I'm gonna target here. Um, I think I'll get Shpervara. Absolutely. Okay. Shpervara, right here. Um, hmm. I'm gonna. Link three into anguish. Do you have any on, response? Yep. On the summon, I'm gonna go Despia and Lulu with Lilith, and I'm gonna target your anguish to negate its effects and increase the attack of my team by 500. Okay, so negates anguish, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna. Um... Yeah, mark them. That's fine. Yeah. Nice little illegal play, putting dice on cards to resemble stat changes. You know, <laughs> casual. Um, I'm gonna attempt to use Shyama target anguish. And then anguish when destroyed adds one back to hand, right? Yep, anguish adds. Okay. I was mixing up the links. Yep, you're all good. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm gonna do Shyama, pop the anguish, and now I'm gonna use chain link one Yama, chain link to the anguish, target... I'll target Sarama. That's all good. You get your Sarama and then Rage. And Yama special summons the Anguish back. Absolutely. And I'm gonna use Anguish now to link summon using your Lulif. Absolutely. Lulu gets used. And. Thinking right here. How many attack has Phantasma right now? It has 29. 29. 29. Yeah. This one. 
Uh, I I'll do summon rage. Absolutely. Yep. And it's twenty nine, so I can't go over it. So I'll just exceed summon into Caesar. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna pass the turn. Let's read Caesar for me real quick. Um yeah. So basically Caesar says that when a spell trap uh or a monster effect is activated, so uh it only negates spells and traps on activation. Um mm -hmm. when you activate one of those that includes an effect to special summon a monster. Uh, I can detach one material and negate and destroy it, uh, and the rest of the effect doesn't matter because it won't happen. Okay, gotcha. So, okay. So it only negates stuff that would special summon something. Uh, yeah. If you have act activate something that special summons, I can negate it. Okay. Um, and you just set one and as the card in hand, I know is... Yeah, the card in hand, you know it's Sarama, and the set, you know it's Escape. Oh, because you set it off Sarama. Sarama. Yeah. Gotcha. So you have Escape, you have Rage. Yeah, that's a pretty good board. Uh, at end phase, uh, I will have my Despian Lulu will Lilith activate. That's uh, from the deck, right? Yeah, it'll special summon a light spellcaster monster from my hand or deck whose attack is equal to its defense. Uh, I'm thinking, I think I'll use uh, Caesar effect, detach Shyama to negate it. It's all good. Okay, so yeah, it's your turn now. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. I did, um, I, I did, um, you can split again though. I, the only yeah, thing split. I did was Phantasma. Yeah, we can both split. It's okay. Um, alrighty. I'll draw for turn. Um, draw standby main. Draw phase is fine. Yeah, I'll move to standby. And then I'll attempt to move to main. Main, okay. You have two cards in hand, right? I have two cards in hand, both unknown. Um, and. In Grave, we have a Nightmare, we have a Harpoor, we have Dingirsu, Galatea, two Cartesias, a couple things. Okay. Just a handful. Uh, but that was most of the relevant stuff. We do have the Sprint, plus a Brandon and High Spirits that we'll be getting back at the end of my turn. Um, I'm thinking about how I would like to do this, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all good. Um, I guess we'll start it off in the middle column with a Foolish Burial. Foolish Burials, okay. Off of the Foolish, we will be sending an Orcist Symbol Skeleton. Symbol Skeleton, um, okay. That's the one that brings one back from Grave. Yep. Um, Not really too much I can do except for kind of try and force it, I guess. Um, we will go simple skeleton, we'll banish itself, and we'll target our Galatea to try and special summon it. Run out the Caesar here, detach Travara. Absolutely. Um, Travara effect since it's into the graveyard, set from the deck. Absolutely. Okay, and I will get right here. I'll get the chamber from the deck. Chamber, gotcha. Um, okay. Next we'll go Orcist Harpor here. We're gonna banish itself to special summon an Orcist from our deck. Harpor coming from the deck. Yep, that's fine. From our deck, we are going to summon a Gearsu, and we're going to attempt to go Gearsu effect to send. Um, Gearsu effect sends fine. We'll send another symbol skeleton. Okay. Anything here? Uh, no, it's fine. All right. Um. Um, 
Uh, I'm gonna attempt to leave main phase. Oh, leave main phase. So you have Phantasma, right? Correct. I have Phantasma and Card in hand. Twenty nine, right? Phantasma is uh yes, yeah, still at twenty nine. Okay. So um, I'm gonna try to use the escape target rage and Phantasma. Uh, that is fine. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pop both, and I'll use Rage Effect, get Sharvara to my end. Absolutely. Still in main phase, then. Uh, yep. Uh, I'm going to attempt to activate Gearsu's on-field effect to give us both a token. Um, that is fine. In which column do you want the token? Uh, I'd like it in the middle column, please. In attack or defense? Uh, doesn't really matter, so attack. Okay. It is a zero, zero. That's fine. Um, then I will link summon. I'll go the token, because it's a level one token, to go into link Karibo. Okay. I'm going to go Gearsu and link Karibo to go into Galatea. Anything here? That is fine. We're gonna attempt to go Galatea effect here. We're gonna target our um, world wand and banishment. Shuffle it. Um, yep, that's fine. Put world wand back in the deck. We'll set a babble from our deck. Okay. And we are going to attempt to activate said babble. Okay. Um, next. We are going to go, you have Sarama and Next, we are going to go Dingirsu here. We're gonna go Dingirsu effect to attach here as material. Okay. Uh, off of Ding, uh, I see, I see what we have in grave. We have Gearsu, we have two Gearsus in grave. We have a nightmare. Uh, we're gonna attach this harp horror off of this Ding. Yep, that's fine. We're gonna go Orcus Nightmare. We're gonna target our Dingirsu and send uh, a card from deck to grave. Yep, that resolves. We are going to send our World Wand. Uh, okay. Still in main phase, we are gonna banish this World Wand, target our Banished Nightmare to special summon itself. We're going to special summon the Nightmare in attack position. Uh, we are going to... Uh, and Gearsu is up by 700, putting it at um, 33. 33, okay. I'm going to move to combat, if that's all right. That's okay. I'm going to swing 33 into your, into your DDD. Uh, yup, so that's 500. And of course, I get Caesar effects to surge. Or, uh, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So let me just. I have this 500, so I'm 3400. Mm -hmm. And then I'll uh, swing the nightmare, which is at 100, into your token as well to kill it. Uh, it's 100 damage, right? Correct. Okay. And then That's you get your. Fine. And then uh, did you grab your dark contract? Uh, yep. Okay. Um, and in... Right here. Alright. Then in main phase two, we are going to link these two off. We're going to go Nightmare and these, and the a Dang to go into an IP Masquerina. Okay, IP. Okay, we are going to set a card. Um, which ones have we not used yet? We've used... Are poor. Hey kid, you want to go out? Um, use R. I negated symbol. Use wand. Yeah, I think I've used all but Brass Nightmare. Yeah. And then I use the Harpoor to get the Gearsu out to dump the. Yeah, uh, I, th I think you're right. I think you use everyone except Brass. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, Brass Bomber is the last one. Okay, then I will move to end phase. In end phase, I will have one trigger. I can have Brandon and um, High Spirits coming back to my hand. in main phase two. Oh, sorry, I apologize. Yeah, in main phase two, I'll try to use Sharvara to target my set. To pop it in the special? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So I'm gonna pop Chamber Effect of Chamber to summon. Mm-hmm. And right here, I'll summon Abominable and unsummon Abominable effect to this card and mm -hmm. destroy non targeting a card on the field. That's all good. What you popping? Um, so, uh, Babel right now has any protection? Babel does not have any protection. It does have an effect on my turn in order to pitch a card to add it back to hand, except for the turn it was sent to the graveyard. Okay, okay. So, next time you can get it back. So you have IP, a set, and Babel. I'll pop Babel. Correct. All right. Okay, um, now you can go to, um, to end phase. I'm thinking if I and probably don't have anything else in main two. In end phase, I will be grabbing back the Branded and High Spirit since it's been a turn since a fusion has been sent there. Clean up this graveyard a little bit to make it nice to look at. And you're all, it's all you. Okay, so... um. I need you to decide how to cut my deck before, since I searched. Uh, half is good. And how would you like my deck cut? Uh, the same. Alrighty. Okay. So, I'll draw for turn. Mm hmm Draw phase, do you have anything? Mm-hmm. Stand by. Mm-hmm. Okay, main phase? Yep. Okay, main phase, I'll summon Saram now. Anything on Sarama Summon? Yes, I would like to concede. <laughs> <laughs> the That's moment the second Sarama. Sur <laughs> yep, it goes. <laughs> the concede resolves. <laughs> okay, so game three. Um, we can um, go half. Absolutely. Half works for me as well. Yep. And then. Uh, I'll be on the play this time. Okay. Ready? Good luck. So, good luck. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Looking at a beautiful hand right here. Let me know once oh, you're I ready. Say this game as well. I have a feeling this is going to be a good game. <laughs> Let me know once you're ready. <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right. Draw phase. Draw phase is okay. Standby phase. Standby phase is okay. Main phase. Main phase is fine. Okay, get ready for this outstanding play here. You'll go set one, set two, set three, set four, and go. Pass it over to you. Oh. So, <laughs> nice Orcus deck. <laughs> that is one of the ends of all time. That's, um, exa that's exactly what I was thinking. The <laughs> end of all time. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's that's so so hilarious. Um, so draw fades anything? No, you're all good. Uh, standby. Uh, you are all good. Okay, main phase. Mm -hmm. Main phase. I'm gonna set one card. Mm -hmm. And I'll try to use a Rua to pop and summon. Oh, good. I thought we were gonna have a similar situation where we're just gonna all set all the back row and just look at each other. Oh, no, that would be <laughs> peak comedy. <laughs> um, <laughs> peak content. Comedy. Prison's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna summon. From the deck. I'll get back here, I'll just get Sharvara. Um anything on Sharvara? On summon I am going to Book of Moon the Sharvara. That is one way to do it. Um Book of Moon is fine. Alright. I'm gonna on the far left, activate Prosperity. 
Awesome. I'm gonna prosperity for six. Just All right. Gather more targets. Any response? No response to that. Okay, that's what we like to hear. <laughs> uh, I'm a strong advocate for not playing Ash Blossom. Yeah, um, Prosp is always gonna resolve. True, true, big true. Um, <laughs> so I, I summon Shavar from the deck. So, how do you want to cut? Half is fine. On the side. Okay. And now we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it has a really good one. I'm gonna get contract to my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Put the rest into the bottom. And set. Uh, no, send to the grave. Um, again, on the far left, I'm gonna activate contract. Any response? All good. Okay, I'm gonna use effect now to search. Search is all good. And I'll get Requiem. Requiem is great. Yeah. I'm gonna scale Requiem on the right. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna try to use Requiem pop contract summon self. Uh, effect to summon is all good. Summon pop. Anything on summon? On summon. You saw it once before. Here's another book. You'll book the DDD. That works as well. This is a really funny situation. I think I'll go to battle and just attack for 15. Yowch! Yeah, I'll take 15. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, so here is 6500. And right. I'll go to main phase two. Mm -hmm. I'll set two. Oh. No. And yep. it's your turn. Alrighty. I'll draw for turn. Okay. Um, anything in the standby phase? No. Draw in standby, boom, fine. In standby, I'm gonna go forbidden droplet. I'll get rid of this back row, uh, which is Crescendo. Any response? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay, I'll get your Aruha. And still in draw phase, I'm going to attempt to go Orcus Crescendo effect. I'm going to banish itself to add a machine from deck to hand, a dark machine. Oh, so you have one card in hand, right? One card in hand, correct. Uh, okay, so if you didn't set Droplet. It was your top deck, most certainly. I'll just Ash. Absolutely. Ash Bloss is good. Bloss is good. Um, that's gonna be the turn then. <laughs> <laughs> so you have one set, one in a hand. I'll... During the end phase, I'll Cosmic Cyclone banish your. Oh, it was an imperm. You, you're smelling it out oh, when you're playing your turn. One. That is a good one. Okay, so I'm 7,000. Okay. Um, and your pa past turn, right? Correct. Okay, so I'll draw for the turn. Mm -hmm. I'll flip Sharvara. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's a draw phase, standby, anything? Nope, you're all good. Okay, so main phase, and now I flip Sharvara. All good. I'll flip Requiem. Mm -hmm. And I'll summon Magnix. Mm -hmm. And this will be really funny because this is exactly the game I'm gonna <laughs> go battle phase and attack. Damn, I thought you were gonna extend more. I got a Phantasma in hand. Oh, the Phantasma would have been nice. I, I, no, the I, 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 I screwed over myself with the double book. I should have waited until you link summoned. Card off the top was Babel. Nah, no help. Oh, Nightmare would have helped with the uh, Phantasma, most definitely. Oh, it was Babel. 
Yeah, it was Babel and then Nightmare off the top. But Fantasme would have drawn yeah. two, so yeah, draw the Nightmare, really negated something, pitch the Nightmare. Nah, but yeah. too little, too late. Oh, yeah, it's that... uh, unfortunate. I had just some really, really crazy hands. This is yeah, it, then nuts. when we were both going wow to our hands for completely different reasons. Yeah, <laughs> for, for, <laughs> some, for some time at the, for, um, the start of the game, I, I was thinking that I was just done when you said <laughs> that you had a great hand. I was not expecting this. Cooked. Yeah, no, I, I cited in anti-spell fragrances, but I didn't see it. <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. Only thing I could have done better was shuffle better. Yeah, probably. Probably. I, I still had the, um, the cosmic in case you had this anti-spell, but I mean, if no, the, you... The cosmic was really double, heads up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a really, really good uh, draw. The cosmic would have cooked me regardless, because if I got that babble up, I'd be, I'd be sitting comfortable in that babble, and then you cosmic, and I go, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There goes Just all my interaction. Oh, um, those are some yeah, good so, games, though. Yeah, those are some really, really good games. And I had a lot of fun. I had uh, fun, too. No, that was great. I haven't played yeah, against Unchained in, in some while, so... Yeah, we definitely need to do more of these. Most definitely, most definitely. Most maybe definitely. I'll bring a different deck next time, or maybe I'll oh, fix yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. We, we, need, we need to do that. We Thanks. need to keep bringing <laughs> new decks. Uh, this, this will be cool. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys at home also enjoyed as much as we did. Um, if you did, uh, drop your feedback down in the comments. We want to know if this is something that you guys enjoy. If so, we will keep um, coming with these kind of videos. Oh, um, absolutely. No, I love these videos yeah. a lot. It's a lot of fun dueling content creators. Yeah, yeah especially love remote it. dueling is really, really fun. I like it a lot. Yeah, I bought um, my cards and paper. I want to play with them in paper. Yeah, exactly. And it's just uh, good for you guys to just have, like, gameplay instead of just me rambling to a camera for 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, no, that's exactly my thoughts. Being actually able to see the gameplay lets you really see what the deck can really do instead yeah, of just it, thinking it about it in the conceptual everything. stage. Mm -hmm. It changes it really everything. opens the door. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I think this will be it for today. Do you have anything that you want to say before the end of the video? Um, I got two things I want to say. I always want to thank you so much for letting me on your channel. We will be doing another uh, collaboration video on my channel if you wanted to check it out. Um, I do appreciate all your support both on this channel and on my channel a lot. Helping us grow really helps us out a lot and we're really thankful for that. Yeah, as you guys heard it, I'll be on Rotis's YouTube channel pretty soon, so definitely go check it out. And yeah, I think that will be it for the day. Uh, thank you always for all the, f um, the support you guys give me on the comments. It, uh, I appreciate it a lot. And yeah, I guess we're gonna see you guys next time.